Hi guys, Todd here. This will be a, this will be a really strange one. Um, so here's the story. Um, the Beeper AIO. Uh, I, I saw a, a few months a few months ago. Would it be? And uh, I really wanted to grab one uh, because it was one. It was cheapish. It would be shipped to me in the UK. Uh, total would be £140 and uh, for a, a, a funky looking borrow device and I didn't think that was too bad. I didn't think it was too bad. It's made in China. Um, I haven't seen reviews for any of their other gear. It's a company called Whiz Vapor. It's an 80 watt device, 18650 and um, so I took a punt and uh, I ordered one and, um, and it took a month to arrive. Um, so if you do watch this video and you decide to go with one, please bear that in mind. Um, shipping is, well certainly for mine, uh, I can only tell you what I had, uh, it was a month and it's they give you a, a shipping number to begin with, which may not be your actual shipping number and you may have to chase them up to get another shipping number and you can't really track it anyway, but it, it, that's by the by. It takes a month to get here. It's about 150 UK uh, pounds. And um, anyway, it finally arrived. It finally arrived. And um, what I'm going to show you now is the unboxing uh, that I did for my patrons. Um, if you don't know already, sorry, I'm not trying to... Don't join my patron. It's rubbish. Um... But um, what happens is when I get something in, I unbox it. Uh, and it's usually a, yes, a colourful uh, time where I take things to bits and break them and so on and so forth. And uh, I've edited this a little bit, but it's just to give you a quick look at the device. So here you go. Right. Oh, bits. Lots of bits. Oh, and a blue screwdriver. Oh, oh we've got a blue screwdriver. Oh, and we've got... Um, that's what's that's. I wonder if it's the same as a billet box. Well, we'll soon find out. Uh, the Beeper AIO toolkit. Oh, there's more in there. There's there, oh there's oh there's stuff everywhere here. Hang on, what have we got? Uh, we've got a oh we've got an Allen key as well. Um, we've got a device. Oh, it's a ch oh it's a chunky McFunky. Uh, I've, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, not sure what that's. Oh, no, I do. Um, oh, that'll be for that. Whatever that is. Um, I didn't realise it was, it came, I thought this was another, pa anyway, I'm talking, sh shut up, Todd, just get on with it. Anything underneath here? Oh, look at, look at this. Oh, we've got cotton. Oh, we've got a door. We've got another door. It, um, it, it, oh, oh, it's a case. Oh, sorry. It's a, it, it, oh, it comes out in that. <laughs> That's, um, I'm, 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 is it wrong that I like that? <laughs> is it wrong? <laughs> that's, that, that's quite funky. Uh, um, um, yeah, that's possibly wrong that I do like that. Pool. Oh, right. Okay, so that's good. The board is on the other side from here, which I'm happy about. Um, that's that's. It, do you know it's it's not actually. It doesn't. It doesn't actually feel offensive. I'm. I'm not offended by this so far. Um, can I? No, I can't get into that. Oh no, I don't have to get into anything because the the screen's there and the buttons are there and the fire button's there and and oh oh that's actually quite oh oh that's that's not bad. Let's let's chuck a battery in it, shall we? Uh, but uh, right here we go. Yay! One, two, three, four, five. Yay! <laughs> Nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! 
right, nothing. <laughs> Ah, uh, I think this is a DOA, guys. I, I think this might be. I think we might have to. Um, I think we might need to. It can't be that difficult. It must be five clicks or something to. Let's try another battery. That oh here, look at this. Look at this contact. The bloody thing's rusty. Or the. Can you see? Oh, hang on, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Look at it. How janky is that? And there's there's no uh, dimple or anything on that. Uh, wait, just just wait, just a cotton picking minute. Um, where's my where's um that should do it we have uh, thumped it with a there we go see that's all it took it just needed some serious smashing with a with a biscuit so, if you ever have any issues with your vape gear, get yourself a Biscoff, smack it round the mod, and uh, everything's going to be okay. That that that's that that's quite funky actually. Oh, it's firing! It's firing! And oh, it's going up and down. Violence fast. Normal, soft, low. Juicy taste. Dessert nuts. Oh, dessert nuts. We like dessert nuts. Tea milk. Um, right, I, I've no idea what this stuff does, but what, I don't know what the texture... What's the texture? What's the texture option? Does anybody know? Flavor clips. Oh, flavor clips. Oh, that, that, lo that looks like fun. Oh, I can, oh, I, I can, oh, I can, oh, I can type and stuff. Oh, abandon, get out of there, get out of there. Um, Cyber Fortune, is this a game? That must be a game. Time settings, oh, you can do that. About, reset, back, to, uh, yeah, I've absolutely no idea what any of this is. Now, that was the unboxing. It does come with a bridge as well, or a, an RBA. And uh, I think I, I gave up and threw it at the pigeons in the garden. Um, so it came with one of them, which is a mesh one. Uh, so it's good that it comes with a tank that you can use straight out of the box. Um, about an hour after I recorded my unboxing, it stopped working. It just died. It just died. Um, I checked all the connections on it. I took the negative post out because you would have seen, I showed you the rust that was coming through on the negative contact. Well, I stripped it down and on the opposite side of the contact, there was even more rust. It was terrible. And, uh, you know, where it screws to the body, um, it, there was rust there. So I took it apart and I sanded it down. Uh, I re-soldered the wire on and um, checked everything and I just, it was dead. It was just completely dead, nothing. Uh, but the fact that it was rusty is is, is a bit worrying, um, And but it, it was dead, absolutely dead. Uh, I contacted Wiz Vapor and, um, and I let them know that it was dead. Uh, they asked if I could um, get in touch with their engineers and maybe do a, a video call and what uh, I was just like, nah, I'm not getting into this. Uh, you're more, yeah. So I asked for a refund. Uh, they said they would refund me. Um, it took about, I'd say about five working days. It took five working days uh, for it to come through, but they were, yeah, they were up front. 
Um, they did say that they were doing a second batch and um, they never commented. I sent them photos of the rusty contacts and so on. They never commented on that, but um, they were polite. And I'll say that about Wiz Vapor the whole way through this. They were polite all the time uh, and uh, they did what they said they were going to do at all times. And, and, and there you go. That's where we are. So I, I'm a, I'm a bit gutted. Not because, you know, they waited a month for the device to arrive, or, or it, I'm a bit gutted that it's not working. Because I will say, it's actually quite. It's it's comfortable in the hand. It is comfortable in the hand. Um. It's they've done it kind of right with the board and the front and the you know the the juice on the back here with the battery, you know they got that right. You know the threading was fine, the menu system was a bit wacky. It was a bit out there, but I didn't spend any. T I didn't get to spend any time with it and suss out how it all worked and what was going on. Um, and I wish I could have done uh, because I think if the yeah, they, they, they had a look at their quality control just a little bit on them. Um, then they could have, you know, there's the world's going borrow crazy and it's still going borrow crazy and they could ride that wave and put out a decent product. But as it stands right now, it's shit. Uh, yes, it, it broke, it's rusty and, um, and, and I cannot recommend it based on that. Um, I'm sure there'll be other reviewers that get a hold of them, get sent them and so on and so forth and possibly wait for their reviews. There might be updates, who knows. But uh, I'm going to finish this one now. Thank you for watching and uh, until next time. Bye for now.